What is going on, guys? It is Dodo Nox here, and welcome back to Vinic the Castle. Time to war. War Hammer 3. And we are starting with a battle against Goldtooth. Bit of a choke point map, but I got a catapults, so let's go. Wait, is that their first army? And then their reinforcements are over there. Right, well, that's uh, that's interesting. I guess we just move in on this position. And we'll take the trail point area. I think that's a fantastic idea. Don't we guys agree? We think that we all agree. We all agree. I'm sure you guys will agree as well. Let's uh, let's get into this then. If you want to be any quicker than this. Chaos, you know. We have a time limit of reinforcements coming in two minutes. I'm even just charging catapults at him. When did you see that? And why are they scaven? Oh, it's just because I'm allied to scaven. And that's how this game works. Don't worry, boys. You take your time. We'll get there eventually. The enemy will be here. And it'll all be ruined. Open fire anyway. I mean, that works. Very hard to see on a snow map what you're shooting. Their leader might be a bit hard to take down. But those rats were pretty straightforward. 30 seconds till reinforcements arrive. I love how I'm still battling this leader and I'm also getting things into position. Right, now grab all the marauders. And block the choke point here as well. How much m men are they sending round? Most of the men are coming this way round, so let's... Um, Go bring more units around that side. But can you guys move a little quicker, yeah? You're a little slow. And we can't be slow. What else do we have in this army? Magic's not great. None of these are available. We could lose this, you know. There, there is that possibility that we might lose this. Okay, what does this do? Melee defense. Speed. Yeah, slow their speed. All right, let's get the knights. They're gonna, they're gonna do some little, little um, flank attacks because they're quick. Warriors of Teach, sent by destiny. Oh God, what magic did they just use on me? No point in using that until I get in melee. Oh, damage resistance to the whole army. We'll wait till we get in melee and then we'll do some damage resistance. Okay, now. And then melee defense. Right, send in the monsters. I don't know how the, if this is working or not. But the knights are coming round for a flank. Let's get these catapults over here. Bring everything round, actually. We can full flank here. Ow, oh, don't hit my own troops! Skaven! Remember whose side you're on! Here we go. A charge from the back. This always works well. Charge! That's it! Run, cowards! Run! See, Olga, stop making Skaven and make your own troops. Skaven army's only good if you get Storm Vermin or Catapults. Don't build slaves, though. They never work for you. As a Skaven expert, I know. So, yes. You will retreat. Because my Chaos dudes will not surrender. I'm friendly firing my own forces, it seems. Forsaken are so slow, but they're so powerful once they get in melee. Change targets, catapults. Hit those. The power of Chaos Knights. My horror's actually firing. Yes, they are. Hit their lord. Okay, let's use more damage resistance. They're panicking. Chaos Knights, time to 
Bang on Chaos Knights. Charge in. We've got horrors now. Woo! That was a good hit. They don't fire as often when they're not yours. I feel like Skaven, they fire more often, the Calipers. Well, that might just be me. I love how I just don't care about their big things. God forsaken. Tear up those um, slaves. Oh, they're nobblers. They look like bloody Skaven slaves from far away. I know they have Skaven slaves as well. Somewhere. I kind of don't like how my leader's losing a lot of health there. Let's uh, let's do give some assistance to my leader. Let's use the damage ability again and the speed so he can't chase me. And damage resistance again. My Forsaken's just running down their Skaven slaves. Yeah, they did have Skaven slaves. I knew they did. I, was, I wasn't going mad. Just their leader left. Kill him! Murder him! Oh, good bloody bosses are tough. These guys are as annoying as Skaven. They keep rallying. Come on, Forsaken. Use some speed. There you go. Charge into those Nobblers. I mean, those Nobblers are very brave. I'll give them that. Very brave souls right now. What do you think was going to happen when you charge Forsaken? These guys don't give a shit. And that's what happens. It doesn't go well for you. I mean, that's much better. I didn't lose a single unit. Make sure we kill him. I think that's the ogre's dead, actually. I'm pretty sure that is the ogre's Egonzo. Yeah. Egonzo. You don't realize how much they get until you lock. 145 is still quite a lot. Right, good 2k there. Souls are fine. We need replenishment. Oh, wait. Goldtooth is still alive. We're just moving up on him. Hey, decisive low casualties. Let's go. Right. Um, I don't think any of these cities are decent for us, if I remember. So we will just, we will raise to the ground. And that's what I think of that. There we go. Moving on. Oh, God, 4K. Let's go. Right. Anyway, back to the task at hand in the north. Oh, I remember what we were doing now. We made a new army to kill Archeon, didn't we? Oh, yeah, it's all coming back to me now. So we made a new army to kill Archeon, which means that we didn't need to bother with this army anymore. Except we probably could do with killing their final city. I don't know how it's a tier 3 city, but they have got one of those. That is Archeon, though. I guess we'll wait for him to siege. The Wyvern Fortress looks like it probably can deal with him. So what we will do is we will send this army back. But we need to kill their, his capital so he literally finally dies. And as for Vilik... All this is now friendly territory. Believe it or not, they use both my vassals. So, for that reason, this is why I'm getting so much money, by the way. Well, how much money am I getting from vassals? 1,000. Actually, no, I'm not getting that much from vassals. Who is our next enemy to fight? Well, let's have a look at the little scroll, and we can find out. So, we're currently enemies to everyone. So, we've got many enemies we can go to. There's the Wood Elves. We... Oh, yeah, the plan was... The plan was to invade the humans, wasn't it? You get more for invading the humans. And I, and I do think you get a lot for raising the humans. So we want to just have a little trip down through Norska. The Skaven here. I think this might be enemy Skaven, you know. There's an enemy Skaven for sure around here that we can just pull through. Probably... I don't. It's probably... Um, him. Help it. Is he... Is he, he... Oh, wait. We're actually friendly towards um, puppets from his role. If we could get... Well, we're going to find out what it is, who it is first. Which Skaven it is. But there are some rats I'm at war with. It's very hard to tell who I'm at war with now because of how many bloody things there are. But you you can see I'm at war with quite a lot. But I'm also very friendly towards this Skaven, this Skaven, these Dark Elves. Yeah. Pretty much all evil factions. 
Because let's face it, the Skaven are evil. <laughs> right. Let us get more money. No, that's more growth. But to be honest, growth could be good. Growth is always good. We're doing some good upgrades there, actually. The plays of Sigma. Do we get... The ability for more Chaos Knights is always a nice one. I do like Chaos Knights. Casual replenishment rate could be decent. Let's go with that. I know we've just used all our money up, but it's fine. We've used it for a good cause. Just check on Puppet Town. It takes so much to get them all up. By the way, that's the one town I renamed Puppet Town. I love the name. I just love the name. I can't understand why, but it's such a cool name. Oh, good. Cave and Corruption's got up in this area. That's not good. We want Zinch Corruption. We, we are friendly towards these and these. I can't believe the Empire of the Dark Elves, though. I don't know when we're actually going to go to war with them. I just feel like there's no point, really. Let's just focus on the humans. Kill the humans off, because they that'll be fun. Yes, it, is so. it looks like they're trying to help as well. But yeah, we must deal with the threat behind us first. Get rid of Archeon, finish him off. Once he's finished off, so we'll move in this direction. Once he's finished off, we can then look to invade the humans. So let's see what we can actually achieve in this campaign. Because believe it or not, I really do enjoy this campaign. People think, oh, you don't do it often. Well, you must not enjoy it. I absolutely do enjoy this. The problem is, it just doesn't get the, the, the hype that the others get. And it's a shame, because I really do enjoy this campaign. If I saw more, more support for this, you better believe I'd do this a lot more. Right. Um, blessed by evil. Income from post battle loop. This is exactly what we want right now. We want to be able to just be able to take loads of money. Right. Well, we can't do anything else this turn. We've done everything possible. Let's just end the turn. And I will get soul grinders. I will. Even though I don't really rate them now after playing Itza. Uh, playing uh, Crotscar and fighting Soul Grinders. They didn't seem that great. But maybe the AI are just not using them effectively enough. And if that's the case, well, that's a totally different story. I mean, I love getting four grand a turn. Did the Ice Court's dead? What? Wow. I honestly didn't see that coming. Distraction for all. So what happened to Mr. Archeon? Did he run? That's fine. The army is inbound. Oh, we were getting 5k a turn. We thought we own like four armies. It's quite funny, actually. I guess chaos are broken once you get going. Look how much money we're getting from settlements. 15,000. The income you get from chaos is insane. I love it. I didn't know we owned any of this, these cities. There's not very much you can do with these. Other than maybe just get replenishment up, corruption. You know. I guess they are decent. I'm pretty sure... These guys will die eventually. They still don't want peace, surprisingly. They're willing to fight this out more. Now, remember, as I'm Vilic, it's not hard to get the army back up. Lacking some dragon ogres? Fine. Let's get some trolls. Oh, I don't know. I fancy some manta cores. Maybe we should get some of those. I don't think I rate them, though, so I'm not going to. But the main question is, can we upgrade these yet no they've not won enough fights but they are very injured but to be honest with you now now we got these these refreshing army we can just have to fight this battle for some reason because for some reason all my units die what i've never seen this map before it's just a plain field it's kind of sick i'm not gonna lie there's no advantage or de 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 this has got to be a bug for sure there's no way that this is actually the map i'm fighting on well, it's, it makes life very simple, right? Everything that's pretty healthy charges in. Everything else that's pretty injured stays back. It's, it's pretty pretty explanatory what we're doing. All right, the best map ever. A plain field. This is definitely a bug. This is what Alpha Total War would look like, where they've not had any terrain yet. They've just made the units. It looks like I'm playing Alpha right now, doesn't it?
This is for sure a bug. And that's how we kite. Okay. These ogres are a bit, bit, bit annoyed about my situation. Let's slow them. What a map. What a map. Wait, bring in all these because they're all like, you know. Running down their big units. Sending all the spears against the leader. I've never seen this before. Just a plain map. It is literally plain with a bit of fog. What? Glory to the They're getting a little low. Get out of there. She who wields true power. I am the only constant. Right, my trolls are struggling a little bit. Let's bring in. Let the guys shoot instead. Just slow him. There we go. Okay, what a what a great map. That was a great map. I really enjoyed that map. Just full plane. No terrain. Nothing great for shooting on. <laughs> that was the weirdest map I think I've ever played. Right, let's heal up. Aha! There we go. Right, back to the main task at hand. Dealing with Archeon. Where's he gone? Where's he moved off now? Oh, technologies. We still have more. We are running out of options now. Souls game per battle. That's, that was no-brainer. Well, Vilic needs to start fighting soon. He can't just stay there doing nothing. To be honest, he could probably go to the Howling Citadel then because that's got a bit of a public order ratio. So, yeah. Force march over there. But we are going to try a little invasion down south. I think we should just literally take Archeon, go with both armies down south here, Walk down into the human lands. I feel like we're actually at war with the elves over here. We could probably go for them and then we could march our way in. But if we're going to invade, we're going to have to be ready. I'm assuming I won't be able to take any cities down there. It'll, it'll be turn into like how Warriors of Chaos was in, in two. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that'll be the case. Lord Tim! What does he want? I've never really understood this. Turn off Path to Glory notification for this character. What did Path to Glory do exactly? What do I get for be doing this Path to Glory? I've never really understood this. It gives me armor and hit points. I get that, but I'm not going to waste a thousand souls on something like that. But Lord Tim is doing well. I go it. Lord Tim, he's been a great ogre basher. You know, he's just been down there, away from Vilic, having his fun time, been ordered to don't do the pleb sort of things by killing ogres. That's it. But he is Lord Tim. By the way, we're going to have three armies. This army's going to be ready soon. We're going to march on the Archeon, kill him. Yeah, I probably should have sent Village over here anyway. 
that we could just literally full evade through here. I could probably just take you know, the vassal route over the sea. I need to get through Norsco, which means I'm going to have to negotiate with Mr. Mr. F What's his bloody name again? They got the Norsco troll guy name. Full. Oh, it'll come to me. Let me know in the comments, guys. My cows. My Norsco lord. Oh, wait, I don't. Winter tooth. That's it. Winter tooth, mate. All I ask is that we're go. I only have military access with him. We all. Oh, no, I don't. All I ask is for military access. I will threaten you instead. I mean, that, that might be a cool... That's a typical chaos thing to do, isn't it? When we get to the time when we need to cross, we, we basically ask for military access. If they don't comply, we kill them. How about that? That sounds like that sounds like a, a good thing to go with. Right, let's end the turn anyway. Oh, I forgot about these vampires. Do I win this? I've got chaos lords. They've only got skeletons. There's no graveguard to worry about. I think I win this. Let's do this. I think I think I do actually win this personally. But we're gonna we're gonna do this. Oh, I was hoping it was a settlement. Cool map. Right, let's see then. Any place we could maybe we could just call a camp here. Yeah, to be honest, that's probably the best route. A corner camp strategy. So let's just get in the corner. All right. Well, there's not really much I can do here. Just wait to see if I win. It's pretty much that simple. Okay, that side's getting a bit weak. Oh, you got great weapon. You might struggle here now, vampires. There's quite a lot there. Their leader's not dying. I guess I lose. Okay, why are there zombies not dying? That's strange. Did they use some, like, fucking thing on him or something? Man, those vampires just what? Okay, well, I guess my chaos units decided to not do any damage today. They're zombies! Surely you kill zombies! What the hell? Call bullshit on zombies getting this many kills though. The must the, the vampires must have something in the army there that makes those zombies strong. The zombies are shit. They didn't even take it. They sat me. Why are you sacking a city that's not even important to me? AI, man. They stress me out sometimes with how stupid they are. Oh, my God. Look at that. Five. Wait, I get more money now? Sweet. Right. Anyway, where is Archeon? I want to kill him because I've had enough of him. He's doing my edit. Bloody hell, you're taking your time. Teleporting might be quicker. We try teleporting. No, force march is quicker. Right, now we can actually get some growth. Nice. I actually don't know where Archeon's gone. He's just being annoying. He just needs to die now. Like, you know. Or we come by Vassal. Could he be come by Vassal? Is that, is that possible? You own one settlement. How are you even close to a high strength rank? The four tokens. Right, well, it doesn't matter anyway, because I'm going to kill him. Anyway, back to the task at hand over here. We've healed up, and the ogres are almost dead. Just two more to kill. I've even got my vassals in the area. They just take back any city that they end up sacking, these vampires, they just take back. That's probably what I'm going to do next. Once I've taken out the gold team, I'm just going to bring Tim round and kill the vampires then. Tim is just on his own chilling. What can I tell you? Tim just wins. Tim is good. <laughs> Do not underestimate Lord Tim. <laughs> Lord Tim's journey. Right. To be honest with you, what gifted units can we get now? Uh, Chaos War Shrine of Zinch. Could be pretty cool. 1,300. 
this army is like in range. Get some uh, some uh, range in it. And that's all, folks, I guess. I never rated the Screamers or the Furies, but it could have, you know, one of those. I love how quickly you can make armies as chaos. It's so fair, but it's so cool at the same time. Right. Um, campaign movement range. I honestly don't know what chance of plague spreading. It's not it. That, that area is dead anyway. I'm going to lose all those towns. I couldn't give two shits, personally. But there you go. Archon is surely dead next turn. I've got an army inbound. Okay, the garrison's a bit scary. I guess we'll... Oh, wait, that's my garrison. Never mind. But surely he is almost dead. Yes, I know about that. I don't care about it. They wish to engage me in a master. You know what? Angzol. Are we gonna be friendly chaos then? Is that what we're is that what we're saying here? You scared me a little bit now. You know what, dude? Sure. But if you're gonna do that. We're going to make sure we're friends and we're not going to be dickheads for each other. So we got to be friends. And if we're going to be friends, that means non-aggression power. And I mean trade agreement as well, boy. What do you mean you don't want trade? I'm giving you great options here. What about we get rid of that? Okay, we're close. You see, now that is a good deal. We'll take those, yeah? Good. Now we have trade. Can't go wrong there. Get more money. Yeah, I lose 400, but so what? I get 5k a turn now. Who cares? I did get 5k a turn. Why am I getting so much less now? Let's find out what happened. Unit experience gained. Character experience. Let's see what's gone wrong. Getting less for settlement buildings. Did I have a right active or something? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Be to be fair. Oh, I'm getting raid raided. These look you fucking bastards. The AI are just pissing me off now. Right, well, we're going to do this. Subjugate? Who comes back if I subjugate? Because we could just give it to the vassal. We don't really need this city. To be honest with you, this city is... Mm. No, I will occupy because it's part of this, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Now, I'm getting a little pissed off. Personally, with the way these AI dickheads are going about things. Green ball's not in the air. We're going to have to chase him down. We're going to have to chase this dick down. We can't just let him take to these cities. We're going to have to chase him down. Vilic. But we just don't have the movement. Wait. Remember. We are the changer of ways. Okay. And what we can do is muddle mines. Reduce movement of enemy. And we can perform it on him. We can reveal faction intentions. I think we should do it. Where's Archeon? Where is he? No. And we've reduced their movement so we can catch him. Yeah, I think that's pretty much what we're doing. So yeah, we'll deal with Archeon. Once we've dealt with a dickhead, well, um, he has no settlement now. But anyway, we're going to deal with Archeon in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, rate, make sure to subscribe, and do let me know if you want more chaos. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.